Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over writing your grains except with salt states. In the past we've been writing grains directly via command line or writing them directly on etc salt grains file. However, grains can be written with salt states. This method, this method makes sure that you have a history of grains written to, into the nodes that are required. Later in this course we're going to talk about salt state .high state, which allows you to do which allows you to run your states, all of your states onto the necessary nodes whenever you need them. This combined with grains written by states makes sure that you do not miss any grains that are supposed to be on the minions by directly reading from the state file rather than running them on a command line by line. To write your grains, go ahead and create a go ahead and create a state file like you would any other state file. We're going to call ours default grains and write in the state write in the grains with grains.present. In default grains, let's go ahead and create a file called init.sls. Now, compared to users.sls, where we've been using thus far, init.sls is actually special. We've been specifying uh, when when calling the states, we've been specifying base users.users.sls, which we specify the file name actually users. In init.sls, we don't actually have to do that. In init.sls, we just specify default grains and then that's it. In and .sls is automatically assumed and it will be automatically be run. Now in this in and .sls we'll have grains.present and then from grains.present we'll create a uh, a grain name environment and in the grain.environment we'll go we're, we can go ahead and pass in multiple values if need be. So from here on we'll just go ahead and see if we can run an example of several particular values and we can even create nested ones as well. So the first one we'll say is, let's say, YouTube environment. And then that'll have another value of salt stack YouTube or salt, salt stack tutorial. And then here on out, we can actually have others of video environment, or sorry, video grain, and then intro, command, state, grains, and so on and so on. And this is basically a nested grain. So you'll see environment, and in envir environment, you'll see YT environment, and that'll be equal to salt stack tutorial. And you'll also see video. And that'll be equal to uh, all of the IntelliLite list. So let's go ahead and commit this up and log into our master. We'll go into the SRV salt video uh, directory, do a git pull. And then from the git pull, we're going to go ahead and run state.apply default grains. Now we don't actually have to specify dot init here, it's automatically assumed. So now that we go ahead and run it, we see that we, we see our changes. It is an environment with a nested grain, so environment, YT environment, and then video, and all those things that, that's in there. And you can actually run grains.ls and grains.items and actually see your new, your, new, um, your new grains under the environment key because they're all nested under environment. So when you run grains.items, uh, you'll see them all under environment. And there we go. So if you look at environment, there is YT environment, there is video, and we can call them as necessary. Uh, thank you guys for this uh, watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.